Are you serious? Are you serious? You're going to need a cup of coffee. I don't care how late it is. And calm down, but Rabbi Yehuda Glick, my good friend there in Jerusalem, a member of the Knesset, has given a passionate speech tonight as there's a bill on the floor of the Knesset trying to divide the greater city of Jerusalem. And Glick stood in front of the Knesset and gave a passionate speech in which he said a preliminary investigation into the greater Jerusalem bill has led an impassioned speech by, of course, the uh, Knesset member uh, Rabbi Yehuda Glick slamming the wording of the law for endangering the city of Jerusalem it was intended to protect. In the speech, Rabbi Yehuda Glick described of a vision of a greater Jerusalem spreading all the way to Damascus. What? That's going to wake up the Middle East. I can just, I can hear it now. That is going to wake up the Middle East. Well, the bill was intended to allow the expansion of Jerusalem municipal boundaries. In other words, to enlarge Jerusalem's boundaries to include four major settlements and a settlement block that's in the West Bank home to more than 100,000 Israelis. So to include part of Judea into the city of Jerusalem. That's 100,000 more Israelis already living there in the disputed. The dispute arose over a section added to the bill which would remove an equal number of Palestinians living in neighborhoods outside the security barrier from the city's census, effectively creating a new municipality from the section of Jerusalem. So in other words, they want to expand Jerusalem's border to include 100,000 uh, Jews living in the edges of the West Bank, but carve out a piece of it for about 100,000 Palestinians and say that's they're not part of Jerusalem when, they're, when they would absolutely have to be a part. If you expand it, it's going to, you're going to have to include everybody in that section. If you don't, then you're carving out Jerusalem. And which Ra Ra Rabbi Yehuda Glick is saying, what are you doing? You're dividing the city again. We just got to reunify. We just celebrate 50 years. And he also knows that there's a biblical prophecy. Get this. Psalms 137 said, by the river of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept. We remembered Zion. We hanged our harps unto the willows in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive, requiring of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. But how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. And if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall be he that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So if you forget Jerusalem, so what Rabbi Yehuda Glick quotes the scripture in his speech and uh, goes on to say, the bill says that we are enacting this law so that the future we will have the option of relinquishing sections of Jerusalem. Who wants to divide Jerusalem? So obviously there's a faction of Jews that are in the Knesset that are still thinking of a two-state solution. And I can promise you, I was at the Knesset uh, about a year and a half ago with, with Rabbi Stephen Bendenun. And we in, and look, I interviewed Rabbi Yehuda Glick. And when I kept pressing him on the two-state solution that the United Nations was trying to force on Jerusalem, he slammed the desk. And said, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It's not going to happen. It's dead. They had their chance. And so um, he's fighting back again. 
Uh, you know, he signed a personal, signed a copy of his book and handed it to me in the, the fall of 2015, just a few months after he was shot, and, um, and thanked me for leading uh, prayer on YouTube and asking Christians and Jews all over the world to pray for him. For I knew that he had a, a destiny, that God was going to use him in the process of bringing about the biblical prophecies that are actually in the Bible. And this looks like one for sure that they're attempting, and that is to divide the land. Well, it says that uh, it was precisely the same section in the law that caused Rabbi Glick's fury. What can be said? Rabbi Glick said rhetorically, Jerusalem is supposed to be the city that floats above us all. This law shouldn't even be necessary. Every Jewish couple married in the last 3,000 years has always sworn not to forget Jerusalem at their wedding. Who could imagine splitting up Jerusalem again? So, wow, let's see how this plays out, not only in Jerusalem, but let's see how this plays out in the Middle East that Glick said, I have a vision, I have a dream of a city of Jerusalem expanding all the way to Damascus. What? <laughs> I can't wait to interview him next year and ask him about that statement. All right. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. You don't want to miss tonight's Prime Time Live. Starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. Bart Begley, my son, has a shocking report, exclusive report. He's written a powerful article at his website, thecrusaderjournal.com, as there is an amateur astronomer who says that Planet X is going to head toward the Earth in May of 2018. And he calls it Planet X or Nibiru or Planet Number 9. And he says he has evidence of it. Now, NASA has even responded to it, and so have some other uh, scientists. And uh, I am finding biblical scripture that if it happened what this could cause, but I don't think it's going to, I don't believe it'll happen. I just tell you right now, I don't think it's going to happen at all. But I can tell you that there is some biblical scriptures of some things that are going to happen that could be caused by a planet on the edges of our solar system. Not because that planet X would hit the earth, but because it's shaking the heavens. Well, let's take a look at this. Shocking claim, May of 2018. Are you serious? See you tonight at my website and at publiclyprophecy.com. New, new live stream everywhere, Periscope everywhere, including this YouTube channel. Are you saved?